you could run from Jacksonville to uh, Jacksonville, Palm Beach, Jacksonville to Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville to Miami. You could just run that back and forth hauling cars. And sometimes you could go from uh, Orlando over to Jacksonville back and forth or Jacksonville to Gainesville. I'm not going to pay top dollar on those shore halls but it's enough to survive if you don't want to leave the state and your thing is hauling cars you could do it just running around Florida and you don't need a big truck all you need is a dually with that three car wedge and you could be alright running up and down 9 to 5 First come first serve. That's the type of deliveries I like. That way you're not. Um, that way you have a window to make a delivery instead of a certain set appointment time, especially those tight schedules. I, if you could see right now, I'm not at a truck stop. I'm just parking a um, what's this? A shopping center. This is a shopping center I've come delivered to a few times. So that's how I know it was here. I had to stop here because I'm well, planning to stop at the rest area. Number one, I got to the rest area and I forget it. Oh, going by the rest area, I remember that's where I wanted to stop it. Next truck stop after that. They have no truck parking for this week. So it's a. Uh, I think it's bike week in Daytona, so you can't park at the love down there in uh, Palm and Beach. And they do that twice a year. They do that in March and they do it in uh, October. I just go to show you that the not even these truck stops don't take truck drivers serious. Okay, if they could give up our parking space for them to park motorcycles for a week, knowing that we're already short on parking, I just tell you that they don't care. I just want them things that I deal with out here. Yeah, 
us as truck drivers all come together and make sure we get what we want. But we are here, man. It's early in the morning. We're about to hit the road. This load is heavy. Normally, I don't haul this heavy. This load is about 43,000 pounds. When I book it, I should have waited for something else. I just went ahead and book it.
delivery. I just made it to my delivery. Um, it's a lot of flatbeds out on the main road. So I thought I was delivering at the same place there. I didn't see the address on the building. But when I went to check, I had to come down some more. And the building I'm going to was the last building on the street. And it's tight to get in here, man. I came in from this way. Cause they have some docks on that side. On the other side of the building. And that's what I saw when I came in. The way I came in, I would be perfect for those docks. But they told me it's easier if I come around to this dock. So I came this way from the right, come around here. And it's not enough room around here for me to turn around or even for me to get a setup to get in this dock. So I had to go out this way and uh, go back out on the main street, turn around. Then I come back in this way. That way I could set up for the dock I'm in now. So next time I know. So I just made it up here at Jacksonville. I end up just deadheading up here because all the loads I see coming out of um, Fort Lauderdale, Miami and Palm Beach, they were either heavy or cheap. Most of them were both heavy and cheap, so I ended up just dead head come up here. Uh, about 30 miles before I get here, I found a load. I was picking up out of here at 3 o'clock in the morning. So what I'll do, get up, go pick that up 3 o'clock in the morning and head north with it. Not a bad paying load. I haul that load almost every week I'm down here. And the way I began some of these loads, I don't go on the load board and um, look for it. I just emailed the person I worked with before on that load. And let them know I'll be down here when I'll be ready for a load. 